Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all having a wonderful day. If you're new here, my name is Jessie. Today y'all, we have got a lot going on in this video. I'm so excited because in this video, I do get another makeover. So yes, another mobile home makeover y'all. Um, like I said, I have so many planned. This one was just out of the blue. I decided to do it and I went ahead and did it. But first we're gonna get some cleaning done, y'all. I need to unload the dishwasher real quick, um, get some dishes loaded in there and then get dinner going. And then I'm going to start on this little mobile home makeover in the meantime. So if you got some cleaning to do, get up and clean with me. Or if you're just watching, I hope this video gives you the cleaning motivation that you need to start out this 2023 20, year out right y'all. So if y'all are ready, let's get to it. the best So I still have not organized where my pots and pans go y'all this little cabinet down here and it is overdue like right now I'm having a hard time getting things to fit in there and just finding things that I need y'all it is just a mess so I'm going to tackle this one day I just keep putting it off y'all because I know it's going to be uh, a headache <laughs> but it really needs to get done so hopefully soon I will have my son come and help me we can pull everything out and then I will just get it all organized but I'll definitely film it because I know someone else needs to do the same thing and organize their cabinets as well so it will be a really good motivational video for you but yeah I've actually had a couple of y'all ask if I've filmed it yet <laughs> but I have not I, I just cannot push myself to do it even though it needs to get done really fast so hopefully soon I'll have that out for you back up again Now that I'm done with the dishes, I'm going to go ahead and get started on my soup. Today, y'all, I'm making homemade chicken noodle soup. This is such an easy recipe, y'all, and I make this from time to time. I love making it when the weather's really cold, but I have been craving it, and it's not really that cold because this is... 
our weather is bipolar y'all one day it's freezing the next day we're having tornadoes and it's hot it's just it's crazy so anyways y'all i'm gonna go ahead and make this i'm just gonna share it with you um i did not post this on my cooking channel because i did not have celery and whenever i make something on my cooking channel i want to be sure to you know make it the right way because a lot of people are going to be following those recipes but here I'm just going to go ahead and chop up some onion into the chicken so I pretty much have a little bit of vegetable oil and then I have my chicken I'm cutting up some onion to go in there as well and now I'm going to go ahead and add some garlic this is some minced garlic and I'm also going to add some turmeric. I love turmeric, y'all. And turmeric is just so good for you. And I try to put this in everything that I make. But I also just put it in my chicken noodle soup because I love the flavor and the color that it gives my soup. So I'm going to go ahead and put that in. Also, I'm going to season it with some salt and black pepper. So I'm going to go ahead and add some salt and black pepper as well. All right, y'all, so I am going to go ahead now and add some chicken broth. I'm going to need a lot of chicken broth because this is going to cook for a while, and then you're also going to add some noodles in there. You just want to have lots of broth in your soup. So I'm going to add plenty of salt um, broth to that. And then also, I did not chop up any of my carrots, y'all. I should have, but I just decided to put them in their hole and um, kind of chop them up when they were done because I had burnt my my hand, y'all, and it was hurting, so I didn't want to have to press down so hard to chop them up. That's the only reason why I did that. I don't normally do that, by the way. Um, but yeah, yeah, I'm just here and making sure I have plenty of chicken broth in here and yeah. So next y'all, I'm going to go ahead and start chopping up some potatoes. Now I don't normally put potatoes in my chicken noodle soup. Usually I will just add some, um, cilantro and some more, um, what is it? Celery, but I'm out of celery and I know it needed something else. It was just not enough ingredients in there. So I decided to go ahead and put in some potatoes. You can never go wrong with potatoes. So it was just made it a little more hearty, which is fine. So I'm going to go ahead and peel a few potatoes, get those chopped up. And I won't actually put those in right away, y'all, because I don't want them to cook down to nothing. So I'll just go ahead and chop them up and then put some water over them and just let them sit by the stove. And whenever I'm ready to put them on, I'll go ahead and put them on. That way they'll still be in chunks when the soup's done. Because if I put them in now, y'all, they're just going to cook and cook and just cook away and just um, I'll have just a really thick soup instead and that's not what I'm looking for and I can't help but smile do you know how much I love you you put my favorite song on I put my all right, y'all, so this is how the soup's looking right now. I'm just going to let it continue cooking. I am not going to put the potatoes in. Like I said, I'm going to go ahead and cover them with water so they don't turn brown. And then we are just going to get started on our project while the soup is cooking. So, y'all, I said I was having more projects coming. And, y'all, look at this color. I decided I need some more color in my life so i decided to go ahead with the sage green i love this color y'all i love teal too but teal is just a little too much for me so there's no way i could really paint my house teal <laughs> but um this sage green y'all is so pretty i love it and it goes so good with my um, like wood countertops and stuff i just love the way it looks and it just goes with the bricks so much i love it so i decided to go ahead and put this color and some spots in my home. Well, first starting out with the kitchen, I decided this little wall needed to be an accent wall. And if you've been here with me for a while, once I get something in my head, I go for it. I'm always changing things up. I've had a lot of y'all comment and ask me, you know, what my husband thinks about, you know, me changing things up all the time. My husband doesn't care, y'all. He, he loves my creativity and he lets that shine, you know? So whatever I wanna do, he's right there helping me. And I just love that about him, y'all. 
But I really hope that I just inspire y'all to just get up and make your space your own. There is nothing like making changes and just being so proud of what you've done. Not only are you making the space, you know, your own, you're just making it so homey for you and your family. Um, but yeah, y'all, I just... I'm so thrilled with how this wall turned out. So I'm going to go ahead, play some music. Y'all enjoy um, watching me make over this wall. And we just sing along And I can't help but feeling Just loving this moment Can we stay here forever? I'm loving this moment Can we stay here together? If I could stop the time Don't you know that I would Cause I'm just loving this moment Can we stay here forever? So 
so now that I'm done painting, I'm going to go ahead and let this dry. In the meantime, I'm going to go ahead and finish um, cooking and getting the family fed. So the carrots are done and the chicken's done. It is ready for me to now go ahead and add the noodles and the potatoes. Now the potatoes and the noodles are going to really take about the same um, you can add the potatoes in maybe a minute or two before you add the noodles, but it's really not going to matter a whole lot. I just put them both in at the same time, and they were both done at the same time. So what I'm doing here, y'all, is I'm just getting some out for me because I am using some rice noodles for me because I cannot eat the egg noodles. They're not gluten-free. So therefore, I'm just going to go ahead and use what... Um, I got to try. I've never tried them before, y'all. They're just some rice noodles, and they're, I believe they're like um, stir fries or something. I'm not sure, but um, I decided to give them a try because the ones that I've been buying from Walmart, y'all, are not that great, but I actually tried these, and I didn't really care much for them. So, <laughs> um, but yeah, I just wanted to let you know just in case somebody wanted to try them. They're not all that great, um, but yeah, that's what I'm doing here is I'm just getting some out for me. Now I'm going to go ahead and add in the egg noodles, that way those can cook. And I'm also going to go ahead and add the potatoes in there as well. And in mine, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to add in the rice noodles and then some potatoes. I'm just going to go ahead and let them cook. Once the noodles are done and the potatoes are done, it will be ready to serve. And this is what the soup looks like y'all it smells so good it tasted amazing and I also forgot to say I did add a little bit of sage in there as well just a teeny 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 tiny bit and it tastes amazing so the wall is now dried y'all so I'm gonna go ahead and start putting my decorations back on the wall so the first thing I'm putting up here y'all I don't know if I share this with you but this is a cast iron rooster hook that I got off Amazon. Oh my gosh, I love it so much. I was looking for something really cute to use to hang up my apron and I looked on Amazon and I came across this and I just had to have it. I love the red. I, I think it gives it a cute color. I thought about spray painting it pink and distressing it but I like the red you know um so I just decided to just go ahead and leave it red if I feel like changing it later I can always do that um but yeah I'm gonna go ahead and get this put up get my apron put back on that and then I'm going to start putting my decorations back on this wall so I can finally see how it is going to look <laughs> y'all so this is the wall I absolutely love it um, comment down below let me know your thoughts on it I just I love it I just love how it makes it feel a little more homey in this little corner 
that I stand all the time and do the dishes. Um, but yeah, I cannot wait to do more. I'm loving it. But just comment down below. Let me know what you think of this new paint color. And I really hope y'all enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and being here. And I will see you guys on the next one. All right. Bye, y'all.